Welcome back to another Field of Glory 2 battle that I'm going to be showing here. And this battle is actually going to be, as a result, a practice battle. Getting in preparation to this new game that's coming out, I believe June, uh, July 11th, called uh, Field of Glory Empires. And it's supposed to be, it's a grand strategy game, but when there's battles, you have the option of importing them into Field of Glory 2, and I'm really looking forward to it. And I know a lot of YouTubers are going to be playing Roman. I like playing the Romans too, but I'm not going to play the Romans at first. Uh, I'm going to, my goal is to destroy Rome as early as possible because they're nothing but arrogant punks. And I'm going to try to use one of the factions that opposed them early on to destroy them. And I know the most powerful ones were either the Sononas. And this is a faction in this game, apparently 310 BC. That's like uh, 80 years after the Battle of the Alia, where they did sack Rome, but then the Romans uh, pushed them back and they settled along the Adriatic coast. So I guess in this game here, Rome is immediately at war with the Sononis. And most probable, I'm going to take the Sononis as the first campaign just to see if I can crush Rome. Like in this situation here, uh, you got the Etruscan League in the north. Uh, probably the Sononas are friendly with the Celtics and neutral with the Etruscans. And you got to also realize that anything bad happens to Rome, probably the Samnites in the south will attack. So I'm going to play the Sononas, and hopefully I'm going to be able to crush the Romans. And that is a country that is a war. My other second choice would possibly be Epirus, but Epirus is still in Greece, and I don't know how the mechanics of the game will work if I'm going to be able to uh, annex or ally with Tarentum and then fight a war. I would prefer. I think it's easier for me to beat them with the Epiro Phalanx than it is with the Gallic uh, tribes, you know, the tribe formation. But I did do the Brennus campaign, and yes, I'll finish the battle with Rome. It's been, you know, I completely forgot about them. But the differences between this uh, 310 BC and the Brennus campaign is, is that the Roman army has already upgraded to the Triplex Accius formation where they have Hastati Principes and Triari. And this is a better, this is a tougher units to beat. So in modeling this army, this practice battle that I'm going to be doing, I'm going to have to uh, adjust the Roman army to the Triplex Accius, and I'm going to have to try to beat them with that. So now I'm going to switch to Field of Glory 2 and set up a practice battle. And now since uh, looking at the Field of Glory Empires map, there's going to be the Sononas are at war with the Romans. I think I'm going to... I did set up a custom battle here where it's going to give me a number of Gallic units, and also I'm going to be facing the Roman Triplex Accius. And with this situation terrain, I'm going to be playing traditional Gallic battle. Uh, the Gauls are not afraid. You know, the same way that the AI as the Gauls would attack me in a traditional fashion, I'm going to do the same thing. Just make some minor changes and tweaks, you know, my own way if I decide to fight this type of battle. And I do have a forest here. I do have a forest. Okay, let's, let's look at the river. There's a little river here. I think I'm going to march forward into the woods and form a line here. And if I can beat the Romans, have them charge uphill. And in the meantime, I think I'm going to move all my chariots towards the right with my light units and my skirmishers and try to do a flanking maneuver. I do have some reserves here, uh, Tortomalios, and I mean, these are, you know, we're Gauls, you know, we're Gallic, you know, we're not afraid of these Roman wimps, so we're going to, I mean, why should we be afraid of these Roman wimps, we're just going to charge, we're going to pick some good terrain here, but we're going to fight them head on and just crush them, watch. Okay, this is a very bad, poorly armed rabble. Okay, I'm going to move all my chariots. All right, let's see. Can't transfer a general here. I don't know. 
uh, a lot of my chariots. Okay, let's transfer here. Okay, three of my chariots have commanders. Let's see if I can transfer a commander to another unit. No, why not? Oh, because he owns... Now let's, yeah, let's put the general in here in the middle. Uh, I do like to keep some reserves because some of these units do tend to break. So, but uh, I do want to extend the flank a little bit more here. So I'm going to put my couple light units here as flanking units because the Romans are probably going to be lined up right along here and I'm going to come forward uh, this rabble is just completely useless all right let's I want to keep one reserve here one reserve there and one reserve over here let's move this cherry unit over here and the chariots are going to do flanking maneuver. And I got three reserve units. Let's put this one here. I guess I can put the rabble in the woods here just as a distraction. But I'm going to line up my whole Gallic army. Let's take a look at the numbers. Romans, uh, okay, 18-9. Just because the Gallic uh, units, you know, just have a few more men. But these are warrior bands. So, I mean, to say the army is roughly even here. And let's see how a Gallic army, even numbers, uh, does against Romans. And what should I do with these here? These are all the skirmishers that I have. You know, I think I, sh I usually like to put skirmishers on the flank to assist with the cavalry or chariots in this case. Now, in a battle where I have real cavalry, a noble cavalry, I would do a lot better. But this is a good test because the Romans didn't have that much cavalry at this time period. You know, maybe one or two units. Uh, the Gauls did have chariots and some cavalry, and but mostly this warband infantry. So uh, I'm just going to go forward and, you know, hopefully my charges of my warband will bust these Romans. I mean, this is the Triplex Accius formation. It doesn't matter. Uh, the Gauls were extremely brave, and I'm going to fight the traditional way. So let's see what the Romans have. Oh, they, they got nothing. Look at that. Yeah, that's a typical Roman army. Hastati Principes. They got two lines of them. And then they got the Triari in the third line. That's the Princla. And, you know, they got some raw legionnaires, some recruits. And Italian allies, Italian foot. So that's exactly, yeah, Italian foot. And the, yeah, this is exactly a Roman army of that time period. Uh, I'm going to try to make use of this river here. So not to fear. Yeah, these guys are way out of position. So I'm going to have to start moving and hopefully get that Roman cavalry unit and come to the flank with these guys as I move forward. get the chariots going they're gonna be flanking hopefully get some flank charges with them uh, when my infantry engage but unfortunately some of my light infantry here I should have put them in reserve maybe I don't know I have these two well warband close order loose order well that's okay we got advance I mean there's no way around this. All of us got to advance. It's the only way to fight as true Gauls. And I'm going to position my units along this ridge here. And yeah, along this ridge here, I'm going to position my units and see. Let the Romans attack uphill. I dare them to. 
they're just gonna let me take the high ground, okay. Stupid Romans. I'm gonna march right up to the river here. Some rough ground here. Yeah. We are the grizzly men. Yeah, this is good terrain here. Yeah, I'm gonna crush them. Ain't got a chance. Yeah, I'm gonna form along the ridge here. Yeah, they're gonna have to tack uphill through a marsh, so I, yeah, I got it. I got this battle. This is easy. These are superior war bands, I mean. This is going to be like a sacrificial lamb for all these uh, pelting units to get. Let's move up here. Oh yeah, this is this is a, a victory. I mean, I can't see myself losing this battle. This is so freaking easy. Romans are dead meat. They're going to be turning. Yeah. Get the beer out, Gauls. Get the cerveza out and start celebrating. The Romans are going down. We are the men. We can do it. Okay, this is going to get across the river and going to go way behind the Romans. Yeah, these, uh, yeah, the Romans suck. I mean, we got no chance against this wonderful Gallic army. Yeah, this is... They're nothing. We got them. This is a win. I got nothing to sweat over here. Just because I'm able, they let me take their high ground. Stupid Romans. And I challenge them to even come near me. Good ground, guys. I think I'm going to march over here. See, now this reserve unit can occupy a certain piece of ground. Oh, yeah, the Romans aren't going to have a chance. They're going to come up along the river and attack uphill. They're dead meat. They are so dead. I think I can move over here as a flank. Yeah, they're not going to break anything. I mean, this is... This is already a victory. Or a draw at best. But I don't want to draw. I want to win. i got to crush the Romans. I just wonder if they're going to be aggressive and foolish enough to attack me uphill, or... Let's move these guys here. take my time with the chariots until they decide to move. They're gonna... <laughs> okay. All these guys here. Really. There you go. You're going to attack uphill against some ferocious gulls. I'm going to beat these guys. Army's about even here. Get the beers, the mushrooms, and everything out, and any, everything you got to get high, and 
just gonna crush these guys. They are so dead. Hastati Principus, just because they aligned with Testudo, Shield, they can do all these tricks. Doesn't matter. And that's another thing is they, are, they have a lot of light units. So I'm going to move one guy over here just to keep the flank going. This is just a distraction. Move here. Get up on the hill. Now I'm going to take a few shots, but yeah, this is good ground. Dare you to attack me. <laughs> Alright, let's get these light units to start converging on the cavalry. I get a shot now. I'm gonna move them just to get them out of the way. I want him to hide. Let's run over here. Maybe I can lure... Lure this stupid Roman cavalry over here, and then I'm going to just pelt him. All right. Position is good. Let's get one guy just in reserve here. Let's move him in this direction. He can cover this high ground here. The Romans are going to have to salt uphill. I know this marsh here is not a place to fight, but it's just good to keep some reserves and the commander in chief. So we stay put. These guys are pathetic. Retreat, good, good, good. See how the Romans do attacking. They're not going to be able to attack, I guarantee you. They're going to attack uphill, get mauled, and then I'm going to come crashing down and throw them into the water, and the whole Roman army is going to be defeated. You watch. This is so easy. Why? Because we are ferocious Gauls. Ferocious Gauls can take out these guys like nothing. It's going to be a 40 to 0. Look at these arrogant characters. Look. Okay, he did exactly what I wanted to. All right, they're just going to absorb some shots here. No big deal. Nothing to get excited over. That's why. What we do. It's only light units. They can't hurt me, really. Come on, you Roman sissies. Little Romans. We took Rome 80 years ago. We'll take it again. Okay, this guy's gonna fit in here. And now, guess what? You walked into a trap, my friend. That's exactly what I wanted you to do. I'm gonna turn the chariot around. Not this way. See, once these guys get all engaged in everything, then I'm going to turn to chariots and hit them from behind. This is such an easy victory. One cavalry is so arrogant, it's charging my... This is so crazy. This is a good... Guys, you're going to get slaughtered. This chariot can go into that road here, as I intended it to. Go up in the road here. Anything else that can attack? One, two, three. Okay, I had three attacks. Okay, that's good. And now what else? Ha! Come on, Roman, attack. I dare you to. It's a terrible move, guy. You can't beat me. What? Oh, come on! You cowards! 
What? Uh, oh no, yeah, you can just come and attack me and do this to me? No way! Okay, well, now I gotta turn. Oh, you just come forward and I'll do a flank charge. What in the world? Well, the swamp is not a place. I guess I'm gonna have to move some swamp thing. Oh, you coward! I mean, how in the world can a Roman ch cross a river charge uphill and get me? Oh, no! All right. It's just one bad die roll. No big deal. That ain't nothing. What do you got? Ha ha! Keep on throwing. Waste your ammunition. Yeah, this is just a bunch of slaves. A bunch of Etruscan slaves that we have for you to throw spears at. Oh, gosh. Okay. He's got to go there. Now I have to turn some units. And maybe if he comes chasing... I should have done that a turn before because I know they're not going to come into the swamp. Okay, I got to leave him here. These two got to go and... When this Roman unit advances, maybe set a trap. I don't know. Hopefully. But I do have a flank charge here. Okay, you are going down. I'm going to crush that one. In the meantime, to still stay hidden behind this hill, and then I'm going to come down crashing right down behind him. If he decides to attack, well, I hope these guys fan out here and, and cover the flank here, because I am going to turn those chariots around at the opportune time and hit him from the rear. Okay, let's hide behind them. I got this cavalry unit covered. All right, this is not good. Uh, unfortunately, one unit fragmented right off the bat. Yeah, this is even. Okay, he's holding firm good. Oh, come on, you cowards. I may get a flank charge. I'm going to try to come in with the unit. Good, he engaged. All right, they're trapped now. I think I can bring my chariots from behind and get some shots on them. Okay, that's good. I think I'm gonna position my units and get my chariots from behind. Nothing. Don't hurt. That don't hurt. Oh, you're going to disrupt a lousy unit of slaves here. That didn't hurt. All oh, these cowards. Okay, at least that's holding firm, but I'm going to... guy up here. I do have an impact one here. I think I'll get a flank charge the next turn. And I think now I'm going to bring my chariots up to advertise that I do. I am from behind. Oh, this guy's dead. Auto break. Gotcha. All right, let's go here. Get those archers up here. And now I'm going to bring my chariots from behind and show up so I can get a flank charge over here.
may be able to get a shot next turn that can come down on him. As long as I can hold over here. Darn it! Why are these guys so weak? These are the most brawniest galls in the world, you know. And you can't beat me. All these Roman... I got good grizzly men. Oh yeah, I beat one finally. But that's Super Magos. I didn't think these Triplex Accius Romans were that good against my barbarian army. Okay, now I gotta be careful because he can flank charge me here. Damn it, I'm in trouble here. Oh, this is horrible, man. Oh, no, now are all their missile units. And now I got a flank charge happening here. I gotta get the... I got... Oh, no, my slaves, they're gonna break. This is... How's this possible? No way! You gotta be kidding me! No! No! This is the pride of Senegalia, the pride of Gaul! Come on, guys! You can't do this to me! You can't just get... I'm going to get a flank attack here at least. Oh no! Well, I do have a flank attack here. Ooh. Yeah, I got you now! Maybe I can get him. Get him! Get him! Oh, I don't quite have a rear charge on him. This is so disappointing. How can Gauls just collapse like this? This is... These are the bravest men in the world, my gosh. All right, let's hit some arrows here. Oh, this is pathetic. I can't charge Triari. Oh, now... I blocked my own way here, but problem is these guys are just uh, just came in just in time, and the breakthrough here has happened, and I'm in trouble, and my I gotta fall back. This unit's gotta go over here. I gotta move over here. This unit has to fall back too. And there's no other way around it. And, uh, I got a hold. I mean, th this guy's just, just broken through here. Uh, this guy's going to collapse. I mean, my gosh. I got a face over here now. You know, I can charge into him, but I mean, what am I going to do? That's, that's not a good impact. I can't believe, I mean, I took good terrain here, I thought, and now I'm getting completely destroyed by these arrogant Romans. I, I thought, you know, even combat like that, my God, they got 18% of my troops. What do I do here? Oh, I got to move over here to... Okay, come on, chariots. What? Now, my chariots are totally useless. Oh... Maybe I can use them for a distraction. I mean, they're totally useless at this point. 
Yeah, this is not good odds. My gosh. I guess I should just keep him there and bring these guys forward to pelt, you know, one unit in time, and then maybe I can crash with the chariot, but I don't know. My whole line's collapsing here. I thought my wonderful Gallic army was just going to chew through these Romans. I didn't know I had an army of cowards. Good, we got some fragmentations here. I don't know if I just have bad die rolls or I just have, a, I mean, an army of cowards. I had to pull back, that's for sure. The guy was gonna flank charge me. Yeah, they're preventing my chariots from doing their job, shoot. That was coming. I mean, now they're gonna pick this unit to pieces. That's ridiculous. Oh no. I thought when the Romans were foolish enough to attack me, I was gonna fragment them right off the bat and then do a counter charge and the battle over, but. Oh, they're killing me here now. Oh, this is horrendous. Another break, come on. This one's got a break. Oh, I got a legion. All right, I got a cohort broken. Keep on breaking them. But, I mean, they already broke through some major lines here. I gotta do better. This is ridiculous. I'm getting my butt whipped here. Now I got a flank charge facing over here. Now if I can just break this unit before the flank charge comes good. All right, good. I'm charging. Let's pelt this guy. All I can do with these units is just shoot them with arrows and pelt tests. I right, got one more. All right, let's move the chariot. Yeah, there's plenty of reserves here that can block my chariots. I do have a charge here, but I do need to bring this unit up here as a reserve. That's why I kept those reserves. Never attack these guys in the swamps. That's such a bad idea. You never attack light units in the swamp. Can I break another unit? All right, here's my CNC. I didn't mean to do that, but... Let's get him down, tack him down. Oh, this one is gonna get destroyed. Attack downhill here. I need to keep him in reserve. Turn him sideways so I can attack him on a flank. And, uh, oh, this is. <laughs> I don't know. I just get the heck out of there. I don't want to. I need to move him in this direction to stem. I don't like this. This is ridiculous. And my chariots are totally useless at this point. But I mean, I guess I can move them just to distract them so these units don't come down. That's really the only thing I can do with these chariots, is cause distractions. 
Unfortunately, I couldn't get any rear charges as I wanted to, but I did break a couple Roman units. Maybe I can break some more. I do have a couple uh, flank and rear charges. charge over me here, but I better do something quickly. Yeah, they're just getting around me. Yeah, good, well. Oh, no! You Roman. I need to rally some units and hopefully double rally. Come on, brave Gauls, do something. Yes! Break them! Oh, these Roman units are tough. Oh, don't rout and run away. Come back to the battle, you cowards. What's the reputation of Gaul? This is a real mess here. Gotta turn around, I guess. And I'm just gonna keep on pelting this guy. Maybe it'll be enough to break and break. One fifty nine to two thirty. Flying charge on him. Let's turn this guy down, turn around, distract over here. Maybe I can attack and get a flank charge here. Okay, this guy needs to harass these guys. This chariot needs to return, and uh... oh, I wanted to. Ah, this is. I was hoping to break him, but if I can break these two units and keep something going here. All right, let's move over here. Uh, no, I can't do a rear charge because of this guy, so I gotta face him or he's gonna rear charge me. Uh, hit that. Break him. Move him back, but I hope he can't flank charge this one. Let's see, do I have any good odds here? 5% lose. No, no good odds. Odds here. A little better. Attacking downhill. Is that the Roman commander? Yes. Commander versus commander. This is what I want. 43 to do. We're going to kill the Roman commander. Maybe that will demoralize a little bit. Hit him in a river. Yeah, there we go. Get a little counteroffensive going here. 46 to 1. That's good odds. I mean, if these guys can just hold, I may be able to beat them. All right, I've done everything over here. Oh, man, I need to rally some units. All right, this is a good distraction. I may get a rear charge over here, a double rear charge. And then these uh, missile units can harass this unit here. Maybe I'll get a couple breaks here. Ha! 
cowards! Good, fall back. Don't choke, you cowards. See, the, the Roman units rally all the time. Oh, no. Because, uh, well, I guess it's the discipline. And it's very aggravating. Our Roman units do rally at the right time because I guess it's their discipline. And they have better discipline than barbarians. Oh, there we go. Kick your butt. How dare you think you can attack me? Okay, the distraction is working. Oh, that hurt. Got you there, Bubba. I'm going to kill that Roman commander. And hopefully they'll run. Oh, this is ridiculous. They're getting all behind me here. I'm pretty much surrounded, but these light units can't attack my heavy units. This is full engagement. A lot of units are being engaged right now. Oh, no. Gotta win. Triari can't win. Please rally. A couple of these units need to rally. Whew, this is a vicious battle. I'm, you know. an auto break. What kind of raw legionnaires, is that right? Yeah, I got them. They're, they, they're terrible. Let's hit them too. Disrupted. Yeah, I can beat the raw legionnaires and <laughs> the position got reversed here. That's terrible. All right, let's plug this guy. All right, let's. So all I can do with these units is just get all these light units, move them around, and just gang up on one guy. up here. Is there any good odds here? No. But these guys are going to charge here. Maybe I can get a rear charge with the chariots. But yeah, they do have some reserves here. Romans were always good about their reserves. They kept reserves all the time. That's with the triplex Accius. But I need to break this one and maybe I'll cause a chain route. Disrupt this unit. Beat this Italian unit. Okay, the general. He's gonna crack. I got him. Okay, my general beat this guy. Disrupt him, good. The only thing this unit here is not doing too well, but. Alright, every, everything else needs to move. Resolve itself. Ugh. Well, unfortunately, there's a flank charge here. Damn it. Oh, no. There's a flank charge here. 
Oh, my... F I mean, some of them are cowardly, and some of the units are fighting well, but... This is difficult. I think I can kill the Roman leader. Come on, come on! Beat him! Crack those guys! Oh, don't pull back. And of course they break. Damn it. Another break? No, that's an invasion. Oh no. Ah, got you there. I gotta break some of these units. Oh now these punks are flank. Oh, these punks. I'm going to kill that Roman general. Oh, these rotten little punks. Did no way! These little punks broke my unit? Oh, the... Oh, yeah, they were light units. They, I guess the loose units... The gotcha! Oh, this is a bloody battle. Okay, he's gone, I hope. Break some of these. Yeah, fragmented, good. Broken, good. All right, he auto-broke. There we go, there we go. They're, they're kicking some ass here. Come on, I need some guys to rally here. I, I am, I'm not doing... Got a couple opportunities here. Let's get behind him. This guy over here, I mean, if I can break a couple more units here, this is not... I'm winning this fight here, but unfortunately... Okay, I can get behind him and crash this one. But... I need to bust this guy. I got a shot here. Ah, that didn't do too well. But I think these guys are going to collapse. Yeah, these raw legionnaires broke. Okay, another break here. Good, good. I'm causing some problems here. Excellent. And now the usual. I got no ammunition left. Javelin near here. Hold firm. Just keep on distracting. Ooh, this is. I may be able to win this. Well, it's going to be a close battle. here, and another distraction here, and I 
do want to turn okay this is an advantage and engaging maybe able to beat him on this flank keep on rip this one to shreds yes now if I can wreck this unit here then I think I can just come and flank charge this one this one's completely surrounded the only problem is is I'm outnumbered on this area here and uh, I'm chasing over here and I don't know uh, let's see I think I've done everything this is tough I need to rally. Oh, they rally. Damn it. All those missile units are just terrible. do much I mean like I said flank attacks are not as devastating and the units are by themselves but I'm winning there in the middle come on these units will auto break fragmented good this one could have got an auto break there we go routing disperse I need oh good I got a rally but he's not going to be able to enter the battle but at least it's percentage wise okay good 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 got a flank charge here oh, that didn't do too much no what am I going to do here I'm completely go over here. I'm totally out of position here. This is ridiculous. I'm going to have to chop this one to pieces. Raw Legionnaires? No, I'm going to chop you to pieces. Uh, Got an auto break. Let's flank charge that one. No, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, I, I made a mistake here. That was ridiculous. I meant to do, I meant to go in the woods here so I can attack this unit, not chase that one. That was stupid. Alright, now back to picking this unit off. retreat. I really thought this guy would retreat, you know, do an attack and retreat, but... Alright, I think there's going to be a break here. There we go. Break! Hit them in the rear! Alright, you Roman... Just 
so it doesn't rally. Not doing too bad. I mean, it's even. But, I mean, just if I can get a local superiority and beat these Romans, then I may be able to win this. Break him. Well, I got the commander in chief, so the morale is down. But, huh, I don't know. They do rally. I got to turn around here. All right, next turn. Yeah, let him drown in the swamps. outnumbered in this sector here. Oh no. This is this is a bloodbath. Raw Legionnaire is going to go down. This one's going to break. He has to break. Break. Good. We're even now, but this is really not the kind of uh, <laughs> battle I want to fight. Good. Oh, no. This isn't too bad odds. I gotta do something here. Gotta break this unit. This commander's gotta go down. I gotta turn around here and get ready to face this one. in this unit. Walk this way. And I just killed some more. And we're at it. Just want to get to move up here and hit this Italian unit. This unit's going to break. Let's get a rear charge over here. I want to attack. Attack this guy and then get a rear charge over here and that should do it. This guy needs to move. Okay, I turned him around. He does retreat. That's good. That's not bad, you know, as long as you do these little flank charges and retreats, but uh, this here I don't like. Oh my god. This is terrible. I don't know what to do. I mean, this if I engage, or I'm going to get pelted to death, one of the two. to keep him so this guy can crush these Roman Rar Legionnaires. It's not working. Okay, uh, one guy rallied. Stay over here. Hopefully it can double rally. This is, this is too close for comfort. Oh, 
Oh no. I did not want that. Yeah, these Roman units rally. And that's the problem there. Oh no. I'm completely outnumbered on this front here. They got me surrounded. But I'm winning. I gotta get this unit that rallied. Maybe chop him up with a chariot. Break this tree, Ari. Good. Not good. Brave soldiers, man. Brave soldiers, but I don't. Uh, gotta fragment this one again. break this unit next turn, but I do want to use my archers and slingers to... Yeah, this guy's going to break next turn unless he rallies again. Let's get these guys up here. Man, I can't get one shot on this guy. Alright, at least my units here are going to be able to hit this Italian foot. And hopefully a couple more units are going to break. Oh, this is a terrible situation here. Oh, I let the AI resolve the combats. Yeah, there, this guy's going to auto-break. I get a victory here with my commanders. do have the ability to pull back too. Auto break, damn it. last stand here. <laughs> oh, no! Ah! Uh, no! And that's the problem. Any of the units that are not engaged, these light units are just going to pepper them. Ooh, this is 
Brutal. Okay, uh, I'm gonna break this guy. Yeah, I didn't think he was gonna last. Okay, this is a light archer. here so all of them are going to be able to just hit that one let's do another Rear charge this one's still chasing I gotta break this unit is there a chariot I can bring this chariot down He's got an auto break. Just, do, yeah, there we go. Yeah, don't chase too much. Let's break this Roman wing. Auto break, excellent. Can we get us? Odds oh, are terrible here, but this guy may break too. Oh no. But at least I got these Romans surrounded here. Damn it, this is too close. If all this breaks, I'm in bad tr big trouble. I can just tear it. Problem is now this my leader and these units that are engaged that can be rear charged. Some lot of time. Come on, bust this unit, make him route. Right, I can bring that one back into battle. That one can fight back. All right. You just disrupt it, but eventually you may get to be. I need to start turning around. It's not good odds. Chop this one to pieces. Actually, I'm going to chop this one down, and then this infantry unit should be able to engage it. Uh, these units need to go up here. The 
this is just not good odds. I'm gonna break. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna wait till I get these units and they get behind him and, and surround him there. Oh, this is a serious problem here. Oh no. I mean, almost both of us almost lost half our army. Break. There we go. I got another rally. Good. Well, I'm beating. Uh, I'm currently beating the Romans, 47 to 42. But this is just. I don't wait. I want to wait till they're disrupted before. Let's get some chariots over here and start chasing some of these units here. Since I won on that flank, yeah, start chasing them over here. They get a flank charge up here. At least the rear chariot charge here, maybe these units. or something before. I don't know. These guys are so chopped up. Gone, everything's collapsed over here. Now it's going to come down to the nitty gritty. I need to rally good. There's another rally. the war. Okay, this unit needs to move up here, get into the battle.
get the chariots to hit him from behind in the woods. All right, another unit. Gang up on him. I don't, I'm not too keen on engaging over here yet. Woo! Uh... Disruption now. All right, that unit's going to be going. Let's turn around. Hopefully I can run some of these units down. Maybe uh, this is so close. But the problem is these Roman units, I don't know if my Gallic units are going to be able... Well, if I beat this unit and that unit and maybe run down some of these, I can get it. But it's only four turns left. I may be able to win. Barely. such a nice problem right there. I won on the right wing, but the Romans won on the left wing, and... that happen? It's got to be kidding me. Oh my gosh. Ooh, did my chariot run into something? Three turns left. This is terrible. These guys are so out of range now to get any other units, but I gotta march them down here. Let's move. Now let's move the javelineers and all these units up this direction. Archers. 
killed a lot of Romans, gave them a lick in here, but I don't know if this is enough for a victory. I mean, oh no. I mean, I need to break. Yeah, well, if I break one more unit, maybe. Dispersing it. All these other units in the back that rallied really can't get into the battle. Oh no, this, this is the problem. Now that whole wing, that victorious Roman wing, though battered, my guy's even more battered, but the problem is, I got a unit threatening to be routed. Break that unit. Good, well. I got two turns left. This, this is not. Two turns left, like, he really can't affect the battle. And this guy's totally out of... Uh, out of position. Bad idea. Maybe I can just barely win here. Alright, hit them with some archery. These are all chasing. Uh, there's not much I can do. Fall back here. Maybe I can break these two units and just barely get a victory out, but... I do have the flank charge over here, but... Broken. Broken. Yes! Don't chase too much. over here.
Yeah, I get in the woods here. That's better. Uh, my guys. Oh, I don't want this kind of route. So I need to form a line right here. Keep him from routing. There's only one turn left. Wow. All right. That's it. This is incredible. Here, I think that's the last turn. Just turn here and face, and just hide over here. here this is oh, wow if this stays this way I just barely win this battle okay this guy's here yeah I mean this is this is a waste of time because they can't get back into the battle so all right Okay, you have failed to defeat the enemy. That's the rule here in these games. You have to defeat the enemy. So even though uh, the percentages were higher in this rule here, I lost the battle in this type of game here. So, and even if I if it given me the victory here, let's take a look here. Well, if it given me the victory, it would have been routing. But look at this here. Uh, Forty nine. Uh, the Romans lost more. But I lost tremendous casualties. I lost 49, 25%. They lost 30%. Uh, this is not the type of victory that you're looking for when fighting the Romans. Because this is equal and the Romans got more power and they can recruit un better units. And uh, obviously the, the traditional toe-to-toe -to -toe Gallic move is not the way to beat the Romans even though I had some terrain advantages here I think that's the only reason why it came close but if I didn't have terrain advantages I think with this type of strata Romans would have won pretty easily I mean probably would have been a 60 to 37 percent that type of a battle but I did have more of a percentage but you know the rule is is you got to get the enemy off the field and win so this battle was basically a bloody ass draw uh, was in both sides, I mean, just retreated, but the Romans fared better because, uh, yeah, obviously, I killed more of them, but it wasn't, this was not the type of victory. If you're playing 
a campaign game and put it into the field of glory too. This is not a Pyrrhic victory or a Pyrrhic loss, whatever, is not what's desired. So the traditional Gallic setup that I have here uh, is not bringing good results. So in the next video, I'm going to take the same situation here and try a different setup. And hopefully that will be enough to defeat the Romans, but you have to win these battles. All right, until next time, thank you for watching.